Will AI replace artists? Has AI replaced artists? Will AI replace artists in the industry? Has AI replaced artists in the industry? A lot of artists begin to feel hopeless when they talk about this topic because they believe they're going to lose their job to an AI program or something. Well, I believe the answer is no. And it's always going to be a no. At least for now. So we've been hearing a lot of news about companies laying off artists and especially graphic designers from their jobs, mainly because they've replaced them with some AI program that is doing more efficient jobs for them for a cheaper price, which is why it's efficient and faster, which is kind of logical for them to do because the company mainly cares more about the profit they can make. So if they are going to cut down the production costs, that actually kind of makes sense. But I also understand because a lot of people need to work, you know, to feed their families. And I think that's the main reason why I bought this thing, which is very understandable. But think of, think of it this way. AI hasn't necessarily replaced artists. And it can't replace artists mainly because it does not have a mind of its own. It doesn't think for itself. Forget about everything they've been, they've been telling you about. Just forget about that. Think about the fact that there's no AI somewhere that we know of that is simply just doing its own thing. It's not. It's literally not creating its own thing. It just, like you always say, it has a model that it works on. It has a bunch of images put in that model, trained on it, and it based on those images to create other images. So it's not necessarily learning how human beings learn because it's literally limited to what it has seen in those images. But for human beings, it's like we are literally experiencing things all the time. So many different things. We know how it feels to see, hear, smell, touch, all these kind of stuff. And we don't only put that in a visual image. We also put that in videos. We put that in um, 3D characters, character design. That's a whole thing on its own. And AI is limited to the stuff that human beings have created. Only the stuff that human beings have already created. And until it's been trained on, it doesn't really know anything better than that. I know you guys are going to say it's being trained on professional artists' works and stuff, but the main reasons why the professional artists did what they did in those artworks, the AI does not know. It doesn't even know how to make sense out of that because it doesn't think. It's just programmed to do what it has to do. So it's like someone sat down somewhere and decided that this AI should see this image, see that image, look at the patterns across, link them together and see how it can recreate other images like it. But it doesn't create anything without the help of those images. I don't know if you get what I mean. So basically, someone has to control the AI. And that's where the problem comes in. Most artists prefer the idea of doing the art themselves. They want to feel like they're the ones creating the art. They, want, they don't want it to be like, I just told a robot to do it for me and it did. And this is why artists are pushing AI away. And I understand it makes sense. It has to make sense. I mean, it's right that they do so because the reason why they make art isn't just because of the money. The money is part. I mean, they have to feed their families, like I said. But they do it because they enjoy the process of doing it. It's like asking a soccer player to um, use an AI to play soccer for him. They play for the fun, the thrill, the adrenaline rush they get when they're playing, when they're in the zone. That is why they play. And that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So this is why AI, AI is making a lot of artists kind of, you know, angry. But it still cannot replace them because there has to be someone behind the AI. 
controlling it. AI can't just sit somewhere and say, you know what, I see things going on on the internet, these, these kind of stuff are happening elsewhere on the earth. Um, I just saw a tsunami happen yesterday, so it inspired me to create a painting of a tsunami. It doesn't do that. It doesn't even have a reason, it doesn't even understand the purpose of, or the reason why artists feel like drawing and so you draw. It doesn't have a purpose until a human being tries to use it. I don't know if I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense because this actually makes sense to me. So the only people, the only artists that are going to, you know, have to worry about their jobs being taken away from them are those who are interested in working for people who are not artists. So if you're interested in working for, let's say, a company that doesn't really have artists in the, you know, the administrative board, they are more likely going to want to find a way to lay off artists so that they won't have to pay the full price of an artwork. But this also brings me back to the fact that they still need someone to control the AI program. So if you think about it, this is just like how digital art became a thing and then traditional artists didn't want to move into digital art because digital art kind of made it too easy. And up to now, people still work on traditional art. The reason why traditional art is not dead yet is because there's this, th this thrill you get that you don't get in digital art when you're making traditional art. And only traditional artists can relate to that, which makes sense. But that doesn't change the fact that there are some possibilities that the digital art has brought that we couldn't get with traditional art. I mean, there are downsides to it, but you can't say there are no positive sides to it either. So yeah, I think artists, just like they evolve from the traditional to digital, should kind of think of it that way, in a sense that there's a new wave of technology and it's not something to run away from or push away. It should be something that we embrace and try to get used to as time goes on because things are changing. A lot of things are changing. And I think if we get used to it sooner, we being the skilled people, the ones who know how to do it without the AI, will know how to control the AI to do it right. Other people will just type what they want and then based on the trained model to get what they ask for i guess but it's never going to be perfect especially if you're trying to create a specific design and i know there are a lot of ai is getting better creating consistent characters and all but no matter how much effort you put into it do you realize that ai art it's still like it doesn't have a straight process. It's just like a trial and error of corrections over and over again. And it's probably even a longer process compared to working as um, a normal artist, like building your own hand to work with. So yeah, I feel like AI art is something that artists should try and use and get used to it. They should kind of add it to their workflow because not only is it easy to work with it also makes your work faster because imagine you're creating a character you don't really plan on making a specific background for it so what background are you going to put there maybe you search through pinterest or um, stock photos and you didn't find the picture you were looking for you can just generate an image from one of those mid journey or dali or whatever you're going to use and use that background there's no harm in doing that i mean the the there's also this thing about copyrights where no one can claim that an ai art is his as long as he didn't make any significant changes to the art so if you generate an artwork of a, let's say your character an animation character and you don't really make any noticeable changes from how it was as an AI art, that character does not belong to you anymore because 
it wasn't drawn by you it wasn't designed by you it wasn't planned by you maybe the story will be yours but you can't claim the art for yourself this means that companies will not be able to claim that certain things belong to them because they didn't have it copyrighted since the AI art prevents them from doing that movies are popular because there are photographers and cinematographers behind it and there are you know um, creative writers and set designers all these people they come together to make it a thing that is why productions make movies so if that production does not have these people there but they have the AI they will still need someone to operate the AI and here's where the production crew comes in so like you're still gonna need the set designer the creative writer because chat gpt is not gonna write the, the scripts for you i mean it's gonna write something but it's not gonna be what you like it's never gonna be what you want i've tried it before i kind of regretted it i didn't fully regret it because it gave me new ideas but i realized it didn't feel right it just wrote based on what other people have written and that's literally like copying other people's ideas and writing it in some cliche way but whenever i write my own stories i realize that the only limitation is my choice of words which means i it's best i come up with the idea and i let ai maybe rewrite it and i'll have to still proofread it to see if it's best and if it is i mean that makes my work easier so writers are not necessarily going to lose their jobs if they learn how to use AI to write. It's just going to saturate the market right now because there will be a lot of artists, a lot of writers, a lot of creative writers doing the job. But the only thing that will make them different is the fact that they have their own touch to it because AI copies directly from what is being trained on and it doesn't do anything new aside that. It just changes the you know the subjects and the, the objects and the sentences. So yeah, that's basically what I'm what I'm trying to say. If we learn how to use AI to work, no one can measure up to us. Because in a world where everything is common, the only special stuff are the things that are done in a special way. Yeah, so if anyone can just use AI to generate art. The only art that will be interesting to see are the ones that tell a good story. If it doesn't, it's just an art for no reason. Maybe portrait artists and artists that don't really, their work does not demand that they put in a lot of thinking in their work. Like people have to replicate pictures, portrait artists, portrait painters, they might have a problem because theirs is kind of a one way thing. They just look, duplicate, look, duplicate. But sometimes the style too can change, but AI can already do that. So I feel like we just have to learn how to improve on ourselves so that AI doesn't take over. Well, AI is not going to take over. Someone's going to use it to take over. So basically, if you are the one using the AI, AI can't replace you because the only way AI can replace you in the job is if someone else can use the AI to do what you do better and faster. That's just how it works. So yeah, those are my thoughts about AI replacing artists. I think if you're an artist and you're just drawing for fun, then you should just draw for fun as a hobby because AI can do that. You shouldn't be thinking about doing it for money. But if you're thinking about doing it for money, you should Think of it as something that you have to do, like being an architect, something that demands a license. If you don't have the skill, you don't really qualify to be paid for doing that kind of job. That's actually how it works. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. I might be wrong, but I know I'm making sense. And maybe I'll be making a couple of videos about AI art, AI art. I still don't think it's art, it's just you know, a tool. It's like having a pen tool in Photoshop. It just does something until you tell it to do something or you direct it to do something. It doesn't do it. AI is just sitting there 
it's not even AI, it's not artificial intelligence because it's not intelligent. Something that is intelligent can just experience stuff and it makes sense out of it. AI doesn't experience stuff. It's a program. It's static. It's inanimate. It's just there until you do something to it, it doesn't move. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Oh yeah, and do subscribe. I know a lot of people have been watching my videos without subscribing, so please do subscribe and hit the like button. Sometimes you forget that even a like button exists, so hit that like button. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.